Here in London, the Chancellor's autumn statement on spending this Wednesday is unlikely to move markets much. It is safe to say the pound, notably cable, has been a bit soggy of late. But we are still essentially range trading. And despite that, there are still some big opportunities in sterling. Some of the most successful effects into bank traders are those that spot a market that's trading in a band and they go in and out and in and out numerous times um, and you make a lot more money than if the thing was trending often. Since the summer we've had a series of descending highs and it doesn't look as if these are going to to stop right now. I mean they, they will, it's not going to go on forever. But we are not at this year's lows. This year's lows were set in April at one 46 and a half and we're well above that at the moment. We're hovering um, at around the 1.51 level, so sort of in the middle of this year's range. If cable is essentially steady as it goes, what about the euro? Under pressure again this Wednesday, well below 106 in a euro dollar last time I looked and hovering around the 70 pence mark against sterling. But steady compared with the euro sterling sell-off we saw at the start of the year. When you see something like that that's holding so well, uh, basically you want to go long at 70p and reverse the trade at 74p and repeat as necessary and keep on doing it. And although it's not vast fortunes and it doesn't garner the media attention because it's same old, same old, as a trading opportunity is fantastic. This is real I'm gift horse. I do think the pound eventually will move on down to 66p and let's not forget that in the year 2000 when the euro was launched uh, you needed just under 57p to buy yourself a euro so we're not at record levels yet. Plenty of speculation here in London of course as to when the Bank of England might raise rates and the bond market particularly interesting to look at. If we look at the yield on the benchmark 30-year gilt Nicole says this is not a market preparing for a rate rise anytime soon. What you can see on the very long end of the British yield curve, the 30-year gilt, uh, we are currently trading sub 2.75% and that was the, what had been the record low in 2012. We're now trading well below that, again in a pretty well established band which I'm going to hazard a guess lies between 2 and 3 quarter percent and 2 and 1 quarter percent. So it's fairly narrow, fairly steady and another possibility for the interest rate uh, players to make some money out of that one.